name's Stephen Payton. I'm an Aboriginal artist from Gippsland in Victoria. My artwork is about strengthening culture and showcasing some Aboriginal thinking and just kind of having an evolving culture and keeping it strong is, is what it's all about. I guess I see myself as a caretaker of knowledge and yeah, just kind of paying respect to that knowledge. Hop, you know, he's the head honcho of our family and he's got a lot of knowledge. With Boren's Canoe, it was kind of about getting all, all of my brothers and cousins together to get this canoe made and, and so that they could learn about uh, how the canoe is made and get that knowledge passed on from an elder in traditional way, just as, as my pop was taught when he was a kid in the same place. So it was through that project that we were able to continue that tradition and continue culture and, and strengthen it. Melbourne's special for me because it's, it's a place where you have freedom to create. I'm starting this space in East Brunswick, which is where we are now, called Nice Arts. And it's a studio exhibition space which is supporting early career and emerging artists. The idea being that they can have a studio here and, and it's relatively cheap and you know there's an exhibition space here, people can show their work. There's a cafe that you know that will bring the rest of the community and all the local community and kind of just bring a lot of people together into the one space. Not going to art school, I did have that thing of, oh, well, how can I say I'm an artist if I didn't go to art school? Or how can I be an artist if I haven't had an exhibition? And just kind of supporting people through those, those um, they're really mental barriers and they're not physical barriers. Talking about audiences and their experience, I would like that my work exposes them to a, a range of Aboriginal stories and something that's relevant, because a lot of people don't identify with them and they don't understand them because they don't understand the history. So what I'm trying to do is turn that around and, and get them interested in it so then maybe they'll actually read something about the history and they'll maybe they'll learn something. Melbourne's special for me because there is such a large pool of creative people who, who understand all different types of artwork. You've always got an audience, I think. painting that I did called My Bullock um, and it's talking about Aboriginal uh, conflict with uh, early settlers, squatters. Uh, Aboriginal men in early days of settlement kind of uh, went and, well they did go and spear cows and they were, they were often uh, either killed or shot or arrested for what they did um, but it was their right because um, the cows were on their land. I see this as a bit of a kind of retelling of that story and, and, um, and kind of keeping that story going and, and kind of changing what uh, has been kind of a colonial history in Australia and um, this I see as kind of a symbol um, for smashing down that colonial history. So thank you. Going back to what I was saying about emerging artists and where I've come from trying to make this happen for, for myself, I've seen those barriers and I've seen those mental barriers and, and the physical barriers and, and I'm trying to change that um, and I want, I want to kind of help other people to 
um, get through those barriers by creating a space that allows them to create freely is that is my motto at the moment <laughs> if you want to show us your support subscribe to the being here youtube channel it actually makes a big difference for us thanks <laughs>